Hello everybody, this is uh, Itzu. Just a short video to let you know where I am at the moment with a nano pulser. After struggling with this uh, IRF U320 MOSFET, small MOSFET, have to find a way to get it cooled somehow because it's not uh, attached to, there is no no, no hole somewhere I can screw it on a uh, heatsink. So um, <clears throat> after fiddling around with driving this uh, MOSFET uh, by some transistors, I changed to a MOSFET driver. This one, it's upside down, the, the MAX4420, and I basically uh, attached it the same way as uh, on this diagram. The IRF U320 MOSFET, I have there the uh, 4.7 ohms, the 2K and the uh, capacitors. But uh, from this side it's uh, it's the driver, the MOSFET driver, getting the signal from, uh, from there. Um, I had the probe at the drain at the moment. I, I'm feeding it with 12 volts. So for the time being I have hooked up the 12 volt via a 100 ohm resistor there. So I can see some, uh, some things. Another thing I did is I made this contraption on top of the nano pulser. So I can swap uh, the capacitor for different values easily by just pulling it out and putting a new one in. And this will be this capacitor here, which is uh, responsible for the uh, the pulse width of the nano pulser. Normally, it's 1.5 nano farad, but then the pulse is almost 300 uh, nanosecond. So I've changed it now via some experiments with several uh, capacitors. Now we have a 220 picofarad cap there. And when I measure the drain of the MOSFET I have this signal. And we can see we have uh, 5 volts per division. I have 12 volts on the drain and it will, it's being pulsed. Uh, we have a peak of 15 volt, but that's because of the peaks on top of uh, the signal. Uh, the pulse width is about 100 nanosecond. Frequency is not being uh, counted, and the fall time is 7 nanoseconds. So we have a very steep pulse. So this looks uh, like a fair enough signal. Coming out of the drain, the frequency is uh, 34 kilohertz at the moment <coughs> for all those pulses. But of course this needs to be attached to 200 or 150 volts. And that's the next thing I will try <coughs> to hook up uh, 200 volts to see if I have the same or similar steep pulse with the same width as I have now. Um, I uh, also have to find some cooling for this thing, I guess, because it's not getting hot at the moment, but uh, it will be with 200 volt. Um, yeah, the, I, uh, the next step will be then to hook up uh, this, uh, this little toroid. I made something like this, 6 to 12 turns. It's kind of cooled. I understand it could be getting hot. Um, I have some diodes here, the one N5408, uh, recommended by uh, uh, Serge. And I also have two of these, which are SCS106AG diodes. But these are only 600 volt, 6 amp ratings rated, so I guess I, I need two for the secondary side. And I only have two, so I perhaps I will start with uh, these ones. They are some better rocked one, 1000 volts, 3 amps. And to rig up uh, this construction, 
with three or two uh, diodes and to see what kind of signal I get when I put uh, 200 volts or 150 volts coming uh, on, on the MOSFET. So these are these are the plans uh, and the steps I'm uh, I'm at uh, now at the moment. Okay, thank you for watching.